She is dead. She is dead. I killed her. You liar. Hello and welcome to today's Walking Dead discussion and today we are discussing Walking Dead Season 10 Episode 14 and basically the Negan and Daryl source of relationship throughout the episode. We definitely saw an improvement in their relationship throughout the episode but I will be discussing it now but before we get in it make sure to give it a like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So yeah, we're going to discuss the Negan and Daryl relationship throughout the episode. It was a bit of a fluctuative one, I think that's the word, or fluctuating. You know, at first, uh, Daryl wanted to kill Negan, he had a crossbow pointed at him, but at the end of it, it seems like they were bonding in a way. Even though at no part of the episode did Negan solidify the proof that he actually killed Alpha, which I've it was really annoying throughout the episode, because I like Negan as a character, so knowing that Daryl doesn't know that Negan killed Alpha, it was like, come on, just be on his side, be on his side, but at the end of it, they were. With the Whisperers bit, I really did expect that. When he, when Negan had the gun pointed towards the um, to to Daryl, I was like, he's not going to do anything to Daryl. He's going to shoot the Whisperers. I'm guessing it was quite obvious. It was, I mean, it was fairly obvious he wasn't going to shoot Daryl. And I bet a few people actually thought he turned on the group and turned on Daryl and was going to kill Daryl. But no, that did not happen. But yeah, I'm glad the episode. Well, it was a great episode in my opinion. Not the best of the season, but it was a fantastic episode. Uh, I think the best of the season was the one at the beginning with uh, Lydia and Negan. I feel, I feel like that was the best one. Leave it, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I want to know what your favourite episode of the season has been so far. Since we've got one more episode left. Which is going to be very sad. I, I might do a reaction video of it. I'm not sure yet. But I might do. Also throughout the episode we saw Carol leaving and Carol seeing Alpha. That was a part which was interesting. I didn't get some of the parts of it, but it was an interesting part seeing Alpha still haunting Dar uh, to still haunting Carol because she should have killed it, her. She should have killed her earlier. Is that gonna fix her mental health knowing that she's dead? Is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But what I also loved was the ending scene with Daryl and Negan. They were bonding. It was a brilliant scene. Obviously, Daryl still doesn't like Negan for what he did, but now at least. He's out, he's he's basically one of the Alexandrians, that's what I like. I mean, who would have thought from Season 7 and Season 8, who would have thought that Negan would be one of the good guys now? But yeah, he is. I also think in the future he's going to witness Michonne's death, but that's just going after comics. Anyway, so for the future episodes, maybe the next episode or Episode 16, which we're sadly going to see in a couple of months due to the pandemic, I really do think... That Negan will join the battle. Negan's already cut Alpha's head off. I didn't really expect it to happen last episode, or was it the, the episode before? I really didn't expect Alpha to die then. I expected it to be in about episode, well, this episode, episode 14, but no. But yeah, I'm glad she died the way she did. It was the perfect ending to a really good character. I did like Alpha's character. Obviously, not her personality, but I did like her character. It was a really good one. And it was a great ending for her. Negan was clearly... Clearly he's distressed by killing Alpha. He even admitted it to Daryl. He liked it because he was out in the open. He felt accepted. But he was made to do strange stuff and Beta didn't like him. And I think at the end of it, if uh, Alpha didn't die, I feel like Beta would kill Negan for some reason. But... Um, yeah, it was an interesting death. I didn't expect it to happen then. I mean, it was definitely building up to it with Lydia coming towards the... Uh, with trapping Lydia in the shack and then Lydia escaping. It was uh, it was really building up to a death. So, what do I think will happen in the next few episodes? It's really... I actually really don't know what will happen. All I know is that Negan's one of the Alexandrians now, which is brilliant. But, before we end off this video... Make sure to give me your thoughts about the episode. It was a brilliant episode, but I do want to know your thoughts. And like I said in the intro, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Walking Dead discussions. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.